I heard the bells ring and went to the gate. I'd stare there a little and saw Mr. Lovell coming back with his buckets. I asked him where was the fire. He said it wasn't a fire. A number of boys on the other side of the way were throwing snowballs at the soldiers. The sentinels were enraged and swearing at the boys. The boys called them lobsters, bloody backs, and hollered, who buys lobsters? There were also a number of people who stood where I did and were picking up pieces of sea coal that had been thrown out there about in snowballs and throwing them over at the sentinel. I went to cross over to where the soldiers were and as soon as I got a glimpse of them, I heard somebody huzzah and say, here's old Murray with the riot act. And they began to pelt snowballs. The first word I heard was a grenadier say to a man by me, damn you, stand back. How was I, how near was he to me? Oh, you started yet. How near was he to him? He was so near that the grenadier might have run him through if he had stepped one step forward. While I stopped to look at him, a person came to get through. He turned about and said, You damned lobster, bloody back. Are you going to stab me? The soldier said, By God, will I? One of the persons who was talking with the officer turned about quick to the people and said, Damn him, he is going to fire. Upon that, they cried out, fire and be damned. Who cares? Damn you, you dare not fire. And began to throw snowballs and other things, which then flew pretty thick. Did any, did any, did they hit any of them? Yeah, I saw two or three of them hit. One struck a soldier on the hat, and the people who were right before them had sticks, and as the soldiers were pushing their guns back and forth, they struck their guns and one hit the grenadier on the fingers. The people crying, damn them, they dare not fire. They are not afraid of them. One of these people, a stout man with a long cordwood stick, threw himself in and made a blow at the officer. The stout man then turned round and stuck the soldier's gun at the captain's right hand and immediately fell in with his club and knockered his gun away and struck him over the head. The blow came either on the soldier's cheek or hat. This stout man held the bayonet with his left hand and twitched it and cried, kill the dogs, knock them over. I took a look at towards the officer and I heard the word fire. I thought I heard the report of a gun, and upon hearing the report, I saw the same grenadier swing his gun, and, and immediately he discharged it. Did the soldiers of that party, or really any of them, step or move out of rank in which they stood to push the people? No. And if they had, they might have killed me and many others with their bayonets, quite frankly. And did I, when I passed through the crowds of people, see anybody kind of take up anything or everything that they could find in the street and throw at the soldiers? Yeah, I did. I saw like 10 or 15 around me do it. Did I? Yes, I did. After the gun fired, where did I go? <laughs> I ran as fast as I could into the first store I saw open. I was very much frightened. 